just making some breakfast now my days are normally really fast paced I just I get on with things I just do things really quickly I already started cooking breakfast and I almost forgot to pick up my camera but then I remembered we are weekly vlogging so yeah here we are I am making some corn sausages fish fingers and some beans this is pretty much my standard breakfast that I have for every single morning. It used to be a lot bigger than this. I used to have eggs and planting and all that kind of stuff, which I actually might bring planting back because I miss that. I haven't had it for a while. Eggs, I've had to abandon from my breakfast because they just wasn't making me feel that great. I was just feeling very lethargic throughout the day so eggs are gone but we are still with the corn and the fish fun fact i have been a pescatarian for almost two years now which is crazy it's like maybe 18 just just over 18 months since 2019 can't really say i miss meat too much but yeah we have a lot to get done today it's monday it's admin day it's time to set intentions it's a new month as well happy february so yeah, we've got a lot to do. So I'm gonna cook breakfast and I will see you all soon. Whilst I'm eating breakfast, I like to listen to a podcast. The podcast I've really been loving recently is called Black Banked and Booked Out by DL Sharon. She is a coach, a business coach, and I'm just really loving the rawness, the authenticity, and just how she's built her business with such ease and simplicity. So yeah, really loving this podcast at the moment. <laughs> Well, hello there. I am back. So I'm just out on my daily walk. When I'm out here, I just like to do a few stories, just checking in with my audience, seeing how everyone's getting on this week and just sharing any updates. Right now, I'm just kind of getting back into the habit of filming in public and vlogging outside. It's been a while since I've done this, but yeah it's such a nice day as well i love the fact that we're kind of moving back into spring which will be in march which is like next month so around four weeks or so just get february out of the way and then we'll be back in the sun hopefully these lockdown restrictions kind of just like die down by then as well hello so it is a bit later on in the day now. It's just gone five. I'm getting ready to go live on Instagram. All this week, I'm gonna be doing a live series on Instagram. Sorry, I'm just dragging my desk from my living room. Sorry, this is so loud, one second. Okay, there we go. So, I am getting ready to go live on Instagram and Facebook, actually. I'm gonna be going live in my Facebook group, which, I've kind of abandoned for the past couple of months, but I'm hoping to revive that this week. Today, we are talking about the six things you must do as a new coach. So, as the majority of you should know by now, if you watch any of my videos, I am a coach. I am a personal brand and business mentor, and I help other coaches to build their brand. The theme for this month is attracting premium clients because a lot of my clients they want that freedom they want income they want to replace the nine to five and it's just not going to be possible if you've only got 27 dollars products so if you are a coach make sure you do check us out on instagram by the time this is uploaded of course the series would have ended but all of the replays will be available after i have gone live let me just check my calendar yeah my live is gonna be at six for 30 minutes after i've gone live i'm gonna do a bit of engagement on instagram and then i will be starting my meal prepping then later on today i want to edit some videos in time for my upload which actually should be today so yeah we need to get that done asap do i enjoy my business but i say all this to say that you don't have to do all the things when you focus on creating a premium business for yourself and it is possible regardless of the level that you're currently at regardless of whether you're a brand new coach or you've been coaching for some time now so i have just 
finished live streaming on Instagram and Facebook. Live stream went really well. It lasted a bit longer than expected. It was meant to be like 20 minutes and I was on for 45, but honestly, that is just the story of my life. Now, just doing my engagement in the DM. So after I go live, I do like to just spend the next 15 at least minutes just engaging with people, thanking them for showing up on live, asking them if they've got any follow-up questions and all of that good stuff. run out to the shop so i can get some ingredients for my meal prep i've run out of black bean sauce for my shrimps cannot wait to decorate this house which is something that i also plan to do this month just redecorate i've been here for over a year and i haven't decorated at all i will this is actually quite embarrassing but can you see that where i've just kind of <laughs> give up with painting i'm really not one to decorate i find it so Boring. I've also had these drawers here for the past almost a year now, which is just ridiculous. I've had this lamp just here in my living in my hallway for the past six months. So yeah, it's time to sort my life out. I'm back. So the shop didn't actually have what I wanted. I really wanted a black bean sauce for these prawns, but I'm gonna have to do sweet chili instead. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna watch Sherlock Holmes. I've been so obsessed with Sherlock Holmes, so I'm just gonna probably watch that whilst I am meal prepping. just ended my night by cleaning listening to podcasts and finding out some emails for a launch that i'm going to be doing tomorrow which is really exciting i've had a super productive day as you can see i'm just looking so tired my eyes are so red so yeah i'm gonna call it a night um so i can wake up bright and early for yoga tomorrow and i'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow good night <laughs> I have just made my staple smoothie which is a pineapple and mango I make this pretty much every single day I've done my yoga this morning I'll be completely honest though after yoga I did end up going back to bed I was just so tired this morning and it was so cold so I do always get up for yoga because I'm doing an accountability so I do yoga with someone else so I have to get up which by the way if you are wanting to form a new habit get yourself an accountability partner and not someone who's just gonna be flaky and just not show up make sure you choose someone who's actually going to hold you accountable yoga in the morning is an absolute non-negotiable come rain sunshine illness whatever it is it's a non-negotiable i missed out an hour please excuse my dry lips but that means i did miss out on an hour of studying this morning because i normally study from eight till nine but i was just knocked out during that time i will definitely make up the time later on of course so yeah i did my yoga i made my breakfast as usual and now i am just here working i've got a lot of work to do today because i am going to be launching a new offer so i'm just finalizing everything for that so this is what i'm currently working on i'm just making the graphic for 
my signature strategy VIP day which is a new offer now what I need to do is just add that picture onto here which is my dubsado so this is the software that I use to create applications for my programs and I also use it to create any contracts as well for my new clients so I'll probably make a separate video on this at some point but for now I'm just going to upload that image there we go all done ready to go then we're going to get into today's topic christiana perfect so happy to see you here today we are talking about mindset shifts that you need to create a premium offer so this is going to be especially for my coaches out there so if you've got a coaching business consulting business then this is going to be for you let me just rub this in a bit it's looking a bit light <laughs> So this is what my calendar is looking like. The other day I just spent some time doing some calendar blocking. So I've scheduled in all of my IG lives that I'll be doing every single day. After IG lives, I do like to do lead generation. So I'll just follow up with anyone who's on the live, just making sure I'm engaging, checking in with them. So as I told you this morning, I didn't do my studying because I ended up sleeping in. So I'm just going to take that from my morning and I'm just going to move it here. And I'll study it at 8 p.m and then that'll bring me nicely into editing my YouTube. So I'm just gonna get this vlog edited and then I like to end my night by doing an audiobook. So yeah, that is how calendar blocking is going. If you'd like to see a full video on how I calendar block, then just leave me a comment saying calendar block and I'll definitely get that done. So you also saw yesterday that I did meal prepping. I tried out a new recipe, which was garlic and pepper shrimp. And I'll be honest, it did not turn out as nice as I expected it would. Cause I followed a recipe online and he used a lot of lemon so I thought okay I'll try it and no it's just made it so tangy so what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take these sweet chili sauces that I got from Aldi and I'm basically just gonna add those to the prawns give them a bit more flavor because with that rice it was so dry yesterday so dry I still ate it because I was just hungry but we are not doing that today I have just made my food now and honestly it does not taste any better I'm really putting myself to shame here because I absolutely can cook but the new recipe the new recipe Montel saw it out the new recipe just didn't bang, which I thought it would because I love garlic and I just laced it in garlic and it was definitely that, um, what was it called? It was that lemon. I shouldn't have put so much lemon on it. I put so much on it. But yeah, I will have to try it again sometime, but I'm still going to eat it. Time now is 7 41 p.m i am running a bit behind schedule but i mean that's the amazing thing about calendar blocking you can just switch it over to another day I am so tired this morning. So tempted to just jump back into bed, but the show must go on. It's time for some yoga. Yeah. 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 And my energy has just been all over the place today. So here I am in bed taking a bit of a nap. I wouldn't really say I'm napping. I'm still kind of working. But I'm just working from bed. While I'm at it, I'm actually going to do my human design. I've been wanting to do my human design chart for the longest time now, but I just couldn't find anywhere to do it or anyone who could do the reading for me. But I've just come across a website, www.myhumandesign.com by Jenna Zoe. 
and apparently this is meant to be a real legit one so I am going to complete this now and yeah I'm interested to find out what my human design is and I would definitely love to hear from you if you've had your human design reading as well so make sure you do leave it down in the comments let me know what kind of human you are <laughs> but yeah let's see what I am so I've just completed it now which is really interesting so I found out I am a generator by human design according to this chart i am a generator which is the life force people who are here to lift the energy of the world ooh, ooh. my strategy is responding my authority so the way i make decisions is emotional solar plexus which is facts like big facts i'm a very emotional being so based on how things make me feel is how i make decisions oh I actually can't read anymore so basically I think this is like a free kind of test to give you the basic info and then if you want to go deeper you have to actually buy all these different things that are on the website so I may do that at some point but it's good to know the basics I guess because I'm super interested in it but I just kind of didn't know how all of it worked but yeah this is good to know good to know so if you in case you're wondering if you're a generator as well what it says is that we are a pure life force in motion. These people have an attracting aura. Facts. Ducing us to their energy. Facts. When I'm not laid in bed. <laughs> well, that's awkward. They are here to dance with life. Ooh, I love to dance. And engage their energy to move their community forward in a way that's meaningful to them. I can't be bothered reading the rest, but you get the gist. Anyway. For the rest of this lovely Wednesday evening, I am actually watching some vlogs, but I promise it's all for a good cause. I'm watching vlogs because I need to do research on how to make my vlogs better because I do not want to be a boring basic bitch on YouTube anymore. So I need to up the levs and the way I'm going to do that is by studying other vlogs. So it's all productive stuff what I'm doing, even though it doesn't look like it. It is. Good afternoon. Today is Thursday and I'm getting ready for a very busy day. I've got some coaching calls. I have content to create, free coaching clients today and content creation. That is my day. But first, we are starting with some moisture because these braids get dry. Oh, this feels so good. I love moisturising my hair. I don't know what it is. I feel like I can think more clearer when my hair is moisturised. So, yeah, this is just the best. And as you saw, it's aloe vera, avocado oil, jojoba oil and olive oil. Okay, cool. Let's start coaching. Good morning to you. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good as well. So, yeah, so your ideal client, your ideal client avatar. So now you've settled on the Gen X dash Z. So what would their current reality look like for them? Good afternoon. You're true to Jerry at PayPal. May I have your first and last name, please? Thank you very much, Montel. And how can I help you today? Hi, so I've got a transaction that I don't recognise on the 2nd of February and I opened a dispute but the dispute was closed but I still do not agree with the transaction. is a hot mess and my brain cannot function with this so we are gonna do some cleaning we are gonna put on some tunes and we're just gonna vibe on this sunday saturday it's not even sunday yet on this sunday morning we are about to get vibing
are done the spring clean is complete and it was a success the house is super clean smells fresh yes i am happy my mind is at ease i'm actually gonna cook a soup today i'm feeling the saturday soup vibe so gonna cook a soup but i need to go get some ingredients and i also need to buy a new charger because mine is just all the way dead the battery's on three percent gonna go get a new charger gonna go get some ingredients and then we're gonna make a soup Bye. So we have the ingredient. So we have the ingredient. So I now have all of my ingredients. Got my cassava, butternut squash, carrots. And I do also add some boiled dumplings. The style of soup I'm making is a Caribbean soup, which would normally be a chicken soup or oxtail soup. But of course, now I am a pescatarian, I am just going to make a vegetable soup. It's still feels and tastes like a traditional caribbean soup it's just minus the meat so yeah whilst my soup is bubbling away it smells so good but i want to show you guys something this is the bane of my life <laughs> my so-called office which i have not done anything with in over a year this is my goal for this month to make something of this office get rid of these clothes and yeah just get my life together before i moved here which was over a year ago i really wanted a two-bedroom apartment so i could have an office space it was my dream for so long and then when i finally got it i just like waste away because i just got overwhelmed with what went into decorating and all of that kind of stuff but that is going to change because montel needs to change the old montel is gone the new montel is going to make something of this office so that is the goal for the next month just to make something of this space create an office somewhere really nice and cute and to really just get rid of all of this shit honestly the reason why i haven't made a start is because i've got so many clothes which i need to sell and pre pandemic i would literally just take them to a market i'd set up a stall and i'd sell them there it was so easy so stress-free but now of course with the pandemic they're not open so my only options are either to just give it away to charity even though there's some really nice pieces in there and i know that i can make some money because they're pretty much new options either i just give it all away to charity and get rid of it super quickly or i start putting it onto depop which i've been avoiding because it just seems like such effort you know what i mean do you know what i mean like having to buy packaging and pack it and ship it oh. and i wouldn't mind but i only plan on selling these things for five pounds like no more than that maybe a few things but the majority are going to be five pound and less so i just find it's such a faff to have to package it and ship it out but honestly if i don't do it now it's never going to get done so I'm actually going to download, let me just shut this door, I don't even like keeping it open, it just stresses me out. <laughs> it's been so long since I used Depop, honestly years, so I'm just re-downloading the app now. Yeah, I honestly don't even know what I've still got on there for sale, hopefully no one bought anything, because I literally just deleted the app and never saw it again. I used to wear some horrible clothes, can you see that? Oh, you, you can't see that. I'm gonna take a screenshot actually, that, that's a better idea. Look at the state of the things I used to wear. Okay, so now we're back on Depop. I'm probably just gonna start by doing a bit of scrolling and just seeing what goes on on this app nowadays because I didn't even know it was still a thing. I had to write an Instagram story asking people, do you still use Depop? And literally everyone said yes, yeah, so I guess it's still a thing, but I'm just gonna do a bit of browsing, see if the clothes I want to sell will actually sell on here. 